All right, what's going on, boys and girls? We are here with another reaction video to my lovely p favorite people to react to, Alley Ridge Media. They're talking Windows versus Mac versus Linux, multimedia. If you notice, they did another one if you watch these videos, and I ignored it completely because my ulcer can only take so much stress. See how bad the level of fucking dumb is this time, so let's roll into it, shall we? Alright guys, welcome to Windows vs. Mac OS vs. Linux. Today we're going to be taking a look at multimedia on all these operating systems. How does you know the operating systems handle you know video playback and etc etc? So let's get into that. So we're looking first at fucking etc etc. You might want to specify what you are specifically looking for, other than video playback etc etc. Like etc etc. Actually figure out what the fuck you want to talk about. Mac OS. And we're going to be looking at, well, what built-in video players are in Mac OS? Well, QuickTime. Um, I guess iTunes you might consider one. iTunes you could consider one for, you know, music, as well as they do have their own DVD player. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the old DVD player. Exactly, exactly. I will say the irony of Mac having a DVD app, even though the fact that none of their uh Freaking <laughs> none of their Macs make it, so you have uh, you know, disk drives and stuff. Hello, irony. Let's have a conversation, apparently. So, just anyway, on to the actual content, or well, hopefully, fucking content in this video. I highly doubt it. Exactly. So, actually, though, let's just take a pause from what is built in and uh, let's even see what else is available so okay. if we go to the mac app store let's just see if there's any viable players like, um, really available media player mk player we've seen that one a couple times i believe that was on windows store yeah i think we did i don't really know much about it but you know i don't know why people just don't want to use you know QuickTime. but really you don't know why people just don't want to use QuickTime. Uh, limited codec support. In case you don't know what a codec is, it's the thing that makes playback and recording of videos fucking possible, along with audio. The level of intelligence is fucking astounding, and I don't mean that in a complimentary fucking way. Seems like it is a viable solution. Well, uh, QuickTime doesn't play MKV files. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's think... what. That's why they literally call this MKV and Media Player. Well, you know, I think that leads us into our next kind of topic with Mac OS, and that has to do with well, what files are actually supported in like QuickTime, the built-in natively on the operating exactly. system. Okay. So I have a flash drive. Right wow, here. you came prepared for once. I did. I know. Okay, let's plug her in. Will it blend or open? Will it blend? That is the question. All Testing. Right. All right, so if you open that up, let's just take a look at videos. Okay. So we have a couple videos here. Obviously, I have a .mov, .mp4. That's going to work natively with QuickTime. You can, but, double, you can double check. Uh, you can, most certainly. The audience requires to know. That, okay. pl that, that plays fine, though. Flawlessly. Okay, MP4. Little, little stutter in the beginning, it's a flash drive, not... Yeah, it's a USB 2 flash drive, but these are small files, too. Okay, but, that plays. Uh, that's good. So, let's open up an AVI file. I feel like this is where we're going to start having issues. It probably is. Uh, ah, there we go. Crashed. Does not work. No, it did not. What about uh, MP... I love the fact that he says it fucking crashed when it's basically because you don't have the fucking AVI stuff installed, you dumb mother... Fucker. Not the dude on whatever, this side. The dude on this side. I'm not sure who's more moronic out of the two currently, because this idiot says a lot more stuff than this idiot does on the other, you know, side of the video frame. Wow. Just somebody shoot me, please, because I think that would be more fun than listening to these videos. 
because my ulcer is acting up already. And I'm not ranting it and I'm not raving yet because I'm astounded by the level of stupid. G file. Ooh, I don't think this one's going to work either. Oh, whoa. It did. It did. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. I will say, I don't think the quality is as good on that file format, but it's nothing to do with the computer. No, no. And then, uh... <laughs> well, this is already a problem here, but let's see if I can force it to open with QuickTime. Nope. No. MWV will not play. So as you'll see, QuickTime does have some limitations in terms of what file it'll open. Of course, as we saw in the App Store, there are some other solutions yeah. as well as a very popular one, VLC. I mean, I can click this right here. It's going to default VLC, and it will play. VLC, you know, will work amazingly for just about It'll play anything. any file. There thing. you go. Fantastic. So yeah, QuickTime, it does a decent job with playback. Unfortunately, it doesn't support all of the file types that you might have. How does Windows do though? All right, so now that we're on Windows 10, we're gonna look at some of these software built into Windows 10. So obviously we have Windows Movie Player, Media Player, whatever it's Windows called. Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player. Actually. I would just like to point out the fact that you don't fucking know what the name of the fucking application is shows your level of research and preparation for these videos or your just general lack of, well, quite frankly, intelligence when it comes to talking about tech because that has been a program within Windows for fucking ever. Can I bash my head against a wall, please? Let's take a look at some file types that this supports. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll go and we have our videos here. And, it's uh, funny, in the beginning, the ones that were supported were in the beginning. Now the ones that are supported towards the end. Looks like it. Uh, but what is this? The, uh, uh, maybe switch to the detailed view. Yeah, I'm not in the right view here. Well, let's go down the list here. AVI. Let's see if that works. All right. So I will say there is a couple of built-in players. Technically, we have the movies and TV player. Oh, okay. So we will have to check that out. But besides that, then we have Windows Media Player. So I guess we'll try movies and TV first. That's what it wants to use. Yeah, sure thing. AVI plays. Perfect. Okay, cool. MOV. That plays. Great. Movies and TV. And that plays. And that was what? Uh, MP4. Okay. MPG file. Movies and TV. Oh, Interesting, interesting. To play this video, you need a new Kodak. It's free. So, I mean, this if I click get it, it brings us to the store, and it just says get me. It just says get. So I, I think that's a win still. I'm that is still a win, 100%. Right from Microsoft, not third party or anything. All right, I will, I will accept that for what it is. Yeah, that's not bad at all. WMV. That should work. It does. Perfect. Cool. So just for quick testing purposes, uh, let's open up the MOV file, but I want it to open up in Windows Movie Player. Windows Media Player? Is that what you mean? Yes, okay. Media Player. Okay, Windows Media Player. How? How would you guys tech people? You can't even name a fucking application. Wow. Level of dumb keeps getting lower and lower. I think you are seriously killing all my fucking neurons in my brain with the level of stupid. It does play. I know back in the day, you know, you had to get QuickTime, but this is nice that you can actually support, well, you know, all files. Let's, out of the let's box. just see here, uh, a AVI in Windows Media Player. This one I have my doubts. Oh, that oh. does work. MP4, I know that's gonna work. Um, Windows Media Player. Yeah, that works. Perfect. MPG, I think that's going to work. Windows Media Player as well. Yep, and then, of course, WMV, that's going to work. So I do have another test I would like to do, though. So on the Mac operating system, you have a designated DVD player application. But what about Windows? So let me, let me just get something. Where, where are you going? Oh, no. We just got it. We got to bring out DVD player, DVD. And we're going to plug this sucker into Windows 10. Oh no. You hear the sound of the DVD player. I'm sorry, the DVD player works, I swear, guys. Yeah, uh, Shara, can you quickly uh, play this DVD show the guys that uh, media player can play DVDs? No, I can't do that, actually. I mean, oh. I can show that the DVD is here. If it, oh, wait, well, as it's still actually loading. Okay, just loading. There it is, but I, I can't actually play it. Windows 10, what are you doing? I am. Listen, I get it. DVDs are obsolete but there are still people that 
need DVDs. Can you can you play it though in movies and TV though? Um, is that an option? I, we can try. And then we gotta unplug this. It's the noise is killing me. Yeah, this is a little weird. But I, I don't think this will this will play here either. Because movies and TV is almost like a store, removable storage. There's the DVD, video TS. Will it read the video TS file? Apparently not. No, doesn't matter. That right. is. I mean, there is one way. <sighs> <laughs> People will probably expect me to wake the fuck out right now, and trust me, I really want to. But acting up uh, a migraine and an ulcer, and I would kind of like to, you know, stay healthy and not lose my shit because of two morons. Um, yeah, Microsoft took it out when Windows 10. You have to buy the codex. It's kind of a thing. There are ways around it. But that's up to you whether or not it's legal in your area. That's up to you. I think it's a bit of a bullshit test because you did not show this, nor did you do this in macOS. Bullshit, I call it. And it's a lot of it right now. I'm starting to think the dude on the uh, this side is a little uh, more than just ignorant. Let's just put it that way. Calling him a dumb motherfucker would be nice. So I don't know. Let's see how well the uh, <laughs> see how much more of the stupid keeps flowing out of their mouth. We can watch the DVD through VLC. Well, there is another way we can natively watch it. And how's that? The app store here and type in a DVD player. Oh, oh, you can download a DVD player. Yeah, the Windows DVD app. Oh, sweet. So, so it's native then, right? It's from Microsoft, but it's $14.99. Again, Microsoft, what are you doing? I, again, I get it. DVDs, they're not that popular, but why? Listen, Media Player used to support DVDs. You used to be able to rip DVDs yeah. from Media Player. What happened? Well, they wanted to make money, so they took the functionality off of Windows Movie, uh, Media Player I mean, and put, made their own application. I for mean, fifteen dollars. First of all, I, out of all their applications on the App Store, I, I think most of it is free. The fact is, it's fifteen dollars. Like that's that's incredible. That's that's insane. However, if you do want to look at other options for your videos, for DVDs. As we already mentioned, VLC is a yeah, fantastic. It. It's a fantastic player. Play everything, including DVDs. So mm -hmm. you're pretty much set in that regards. However, what about Linux? All right. So now that we are on Ubuntu, first off, built-in player. What do we have available, Trevor? Well, that's very interesting. If we just go to our applications and type in video, we have the videos application. Cool. So, but what? <laughs> really, yeah, cool. But what's really actually really cool is that VLC is a native player here. And that Fantastic. VLC, I don't know if it's actually open source software. However, it's available free on every platform pretty much, including even mobile, at least for Android. You don't even know what an application is. Wow. You don't know that it's open source. How much research do you guys actually fucking do because all I'm seeing right now is a whole lot of fucking moronicy and stupidity because that is literally going to the video land site and it'll tell you in like the front fucking page that it's open source look at the fucking license it's under you don't want to agree to a fucking EULA do you People hurt my fucking head more and more every day. I don't know if it's on iOS, but VLC is great. And the fact that they're using that built in, I feel like just shows that they know what's up. No, totally. And that also shows that we don't have to even have to test this, that a DVD will play on, on Anything here, so. will play on VLC pretty much. With so. that said though, I'm curious to explore the videos program. Yeah, I'm not sure so exactly what that does. So we play. have the files that I previously been testing on all these computers. Yep. And uh, let's take a quick look at them. Yeah, I'm not sure what's gonna default here, so I'm just gonna open this up normally. We'll see what it defaults. Does default, uh, yeah, the videos. The videos, that's good. Can't play AVI. That's AVI, can't support it? Can't support that. Okay. It says an uh, MPEG-4 video decoder is required to play this 
file but not install. So it looks like you can install something. But this goes back into even last time we were talking about uh, Kodak issues. Yeah. This is going into that pretty easily. Of course, easily. of course. So what about the next file? Oh my fucking god, you hypocritical douchebag motherfuckers. You couldn't play an MPEG-2 on Windows, so you went to the store and downloaded it. They give you the same fucking option in that player, and you don't do it. That is bullshit. That is some fucking bull. And the simple fact... <laughs> and the simple fact that <laughs> wow I, I'm blown away by the stupidity level so you guys have not even done a straight fact for fact for fact comparison this is so full of stupid talking points that and talking points as in the lack of knowledge that you guys exhibit like, you guys want to talk about end users. You guys aren't intermediate users. You guys aren't even power users. Fuck that. You guys are, like, somewhere in between, like, script kitties. Like, you guys are dumb enough to get yourself in trouble, but dumb enough not to get out of it. Uh, like, give me a break. So, this becomes a codex issue with Linux because this is what you're referring to prior. You guys are full of shit because Windows gave you the same damn thing. And the same damn option that a, your Ubuntu did on your machine to get the codex from the store. And you didn't. But you did from the Microsoft one. Bullshit. File. Yep, so let's go ahead and take a look. MOV. I think this is going to... Whoa. Does not Does not work. work. It needs H.264. Does not have that. Again, could work if you installed it, but... And obviously, natively. again, you can play it on VLC. MP4. I would think this would work, but again, needs H.264. All right, so now moving on to .mpg. Nope. And, you know, just for testing purposes, this has this find a bunch of store that okay. happened with, you know, Microsoft. Yeah. And, and that worked. Let's just see. Does it find something here? Ooh. Oh, so there is a free thing here. It just has to be. It, it's just an extra step to install. It's an extra step. I, I, let's just double check. See? Okay, so that claim to have installed. So let's see here. Okay, let me just relaunch the file. Did we just do that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the one we just did. Okay, how about H.264? Is that available? No. No, so it is not. That is this seems to be a hit or miss then. I don't know why that's not playing now. No, it's recommended. There's three no three other of them. Ones, it wasn't giving a setup. Uh, I don't know. This just probably shows some of the inconsistencies and again, the Kodak issues. Of um, course. I think no surprise here at this point. Uh, WMV. It's not, not going to play. Work. Of course, though, again, realize VLC, which actually is. One of the main, you know, viewers yeah, come on, it. on Ubuntu. Open VLC, all it's these will open perfectly fine. There you go. Actually, it looks really nice, the quality, too. So It's perfect. It's perfect. So I don't, maybe this program, this video's program, it was just a dud, but VLC is still on Ubuntu, still available on Linux. So Linux. No, the only dud and the only idiot here and the only one that's showing any uh, problems is YouTube because... If you had half a fucking brain, there's a checkbox on your machine that says install third party proprietary crap like codex, hardware stuff, etc. When you install the fucking operating system, but you're too dumb to click on it. That says more about the end user than actually the OS. So, wow, are you morons on such a level that I can't even register that on. Do you guys seriously? <laughs> I <laughs> Like the level of intelligence. Here's Earth. Here's Andromeda. You guys are like chucked out in the void of fucking space because you have nothing in between the ears when it comes to tech. Dumb. Mother fuckers. This is still yeah, this is grounds. no criticism for Linux at all. You know, it comes with VLC. Yeah. They won everything by a mile here, to be of honest. Of course. So it's that time for my opinion. 
Look, I mean, Mac OS did okay. I mean, we couldn't play some of those specific, uh, like, Windows files. You know, it, it played the stuff that was important. I and mean, QuickTime is a great built-in player. Uh, though I do occasionally, a couple times a month, have an issue where I try to open something and it does not work. I got VLC for when that happens, but still a little inconvenient. Windows was really surprising. It actually did play everything with its built-in player, and then the one thing it didn't, we were able to get that from the App Store, and that worked. So I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Um, and then Linux, you know, having VLC built in, that essentially played everything without any intervention except for that Videos app. So all in all, I'm giving Linux and Windows a lot of credit here. Mac OS is actually seems to be doing the worst here, even though they're not doing that bad either. So I, I think ultimately we're all doing pretty good. And now time for my opinion. Well, honestly, Mac OS, you know, Trevor's right. There's occasional times that it flops and you have to use something like VLC. Not that that's a huge inconvenience after you have VLC, but natively doesn't support all the files. Windows, I'm surprised about. However, the lack of DVD support for me personally is a little bit annoying. And yeah, DVDs are out of date, I get it. However, I end up doing way too much with DVDs every single day for clients. So DVDs are still important in my day-to-day -day workflow. Linux, on the other hand, with VLC being one of the prime native apps that is in Ubuntu, you can do everything with VLC and that's a winner in my book. Anyway, now it's time to score everything up. Who won? Well, let's die. <laughs> ah, you guys. I really, really wish you guys would stop making tech videos all together. Because, quite simply, you guys give tech people a bad name. And quite frankly, I think your advice is just Quaint, ignorant, and well, bad in general. The videos app, and I'm specifically talking Linux here, is not the problem. And user is the problem, i.e., you two dumbasses. If you click the fucking little install third party codecs and proprietary hardware drivers thing, when you install the operating system, it will install the necessary codecs for you to play shit. VLC aside, I'm talking, you guys were talking the video native app. Well, okay, videos is the app that generically Ubuntu defaults to. So, again, it's not a OS problem, it's a dumbass user problem, which, well, quite frankly, is YouTube. So, why am I not surprised by that bullshit? dive into it. So with Windows, their built-in player across the board, I think we have to give it a one. It's supporting yeah. everything. And when it didn't support, it gave us the ability to support. Exactly. Mac OS, built-in player, sorry QuickTime. I don't time. think so. It doesn't do everything. Sorry QuickTime. And Linux, it's getting a one. Yeah, Linux did great. In terms of the file support, um, again, you know, that kind of goes, those kind of go hand in hand, a bit. actually. So and do note the fact that you didn't actually use the same player across all the boards because you can't make up your mind which fucking one you want to do. So we'll use VLC a little bit, and then we'll go to use, you know, the built-in. That's a load of bullshit, too. This comparison is garbage. So, you know, Windows, it gets a one. Mac, you know... Scan a zero and Linux, it's, it's doing well. Available players, what else can you get? Well, actually, across the board, all, you can get VLC. Yeah, they all get a one for that. So they can all get a one. My opinion here, well, honestly, let's start off with Mac. Not doing too well because QuickTime kinda sucks. Windows might be all right. However, the DVD support for me makes it a zero. Hmm. Linux. It did pretty well though. With VLC natively in the OS, it gets a one. Wow, I can't believe where this is going. All right, so as far as the whole DVD thing, this is another point that I hate about this across the board. Like, your, This is why I say your comparison is fucking garbage across the board. Where did you try playing DVDs? Only once, one time, on one OS and it's instead of across the board. So that's what makes this comparison complete garbage. You tried it in Windows. 
you didn't show it in Mac OS and you didn't show it in Ubuntu, Linux, call it whatever you want. If you're going to do these videos, you got to do the same shit across the board, bar none, no questions asked. Same tests across the board, no questions asked. This comparison is utter fucking garbage. And yes, Linux is doing well and I could care less about the score. The fact that there is so much stupid and how you guys are doing this comparison is what is really actually starting to piss me off more than anything else. Because this comes down to my opinion now. Which what isn't... is Trevor's opinion? Well, let's let's talk about Windows for a second. <laughs> I love that I support everything, but I found out today, Eric's the one that told me that Windows would not play DVDs. I didn't believe him. I argued with him to the point that he had to go get the external DVD player, plug it in, and we tried it. Very and true. Play. It's okay that it doesn't play DVDs. Most computers don't even have DVD drives anymore. That's true, too. But it's an insult when they try to charge $15 for the official Microsoft solution. When and for the record, how much do you typically spend on a Windows copy? Hundreds of dollars. At least, you know, a hundred bucks. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Uh, if I could give it a negative five, I, w I would. But zero. Uh, Mac OS is actually really good, but for all the said things we've already talked about, I don't think it deserves a, a particular score. Doesn't do it bad, but doesn't do it good either. Of course. Linux did it pretty good. I like how they had VLC. And that really is our first landslide here on any of these where Linux really does win. That is crazy. And obviously, I'm just going to fill in the remaining null categories because we didn't have enough categories for all these testing. And for Windows, we have eight. Mac OS, sorry, we get a six. Linux. Perfect 10. 10 out of 10. Go Linux. Anyway, guys, that is this episode of Windows versus Mac OS versus Linux. Stay tuned for the next one. See you guys later. Bye. So, long short of it, you guys are fucking idiots. You have to do the same comparison across the fucking board, which you are not doing. That's your prerogative, but it questions the uh, intelligence of the people making the video. This is where my issue comes in as far as not just as a Linux user or Mac user or as a Windows user. My qu problem with you guys specifically on this particular video, and I'm only going to talk this particular video, the thing that really irks me is, is you're not doing the same fucking test across the board. So any comparison, you cannot, you have to do the same thing across the board. And if you don't give everything the same test across the board, any comparison is bullshit. Flat out. I don't care if it's tech or whatever. If you are running tests, they have to be across the board the same. Because then you're throwing out things like experience. You're throwing things out the window. Like your control for the what you're trying to talk about goes out the door. So it's a very lopsided, very un... I don't, I'm not going to say unprofessional very amateurish comparison and that's being generous i think it's a fucking abysmally badly done comparison with very little intelligence exerted by those things that you're supposed to have between your fucking ears which apparently you don't have maybe the brainstem to keep yourself breathing but that's about it because I'm not seeing any fucking neurons firing off for any level of fucking intelligence. So here's an idea. Figure out how to get those neurons firing again. Because right now, I don't think it's possible. So you guys know what to do. Rate it, subscribe. Peace.